can analyze respirometry data directly in AutoRisp3 using the Analysis menu. Keep in mind that the Analysis menu remains fully functional when you are running AutoRisp3 in demo mode, and so you do not need to have the Keylog software license dongle connected to your computer when analyzing data files from your experiments. When you end experiments in AutoRisp3, three different types of data files will be saved for each measurement chamber and control. The files with the .ar3 extensions are the files that you can load into and work with in the analysis menu. To do that, simply click the load button located in the project tab and select the files you want to analyze. AutoRisp3 will now analyze the data in the files, and once the analysis is done, all your files will be displayed in the overview list. The file path for the selected files is displayed above the list. It's important to have all the data files you want to analyze located in the same folder. If you click the load button again and load some new files, these files will simply replace the ones you have currently selected. The project tab provides you with a summary of setup information like chamber name, animal length and weight, and chamber volume that you entered when setting up your experiment. The assigned treatment is also shown here. The time column shows the start date and time when the experiment was stopped as well as the total duration of that experiment. The three columns here show the average values of the temperature compensation, the atmospheric pressure and the salinity throughout the experiment. Any notes you added are displayed here. The status column will indicate if the data log file has been edited or has finished unexpectedly, by which it will show a red checksum error. The data fields here show you the calculated values for the standard metabolic rate, the maximum metabolic rate, the absolute aerobic scope and the factorial aerobic scope. The values you see are based on your data files, but also on the settings you have in the settings menu for each chamber and in the overall settings menu up here. If we have a look at the settings menu for each chamber, you can select the start and end time for your data, meaning that any data outside this range will not be included in the analysis calculations. The range values can be entered up here, or you can drag these handles. In this menu, you can also set the range for your epoch calculations. Note that the data range you set here only applies to this individual's resting chambers. If you want to adjust the global data range, head over to the settings menu up here. The global data range fields here will exclude any data outside the designated range for all your chambers. To get a visual representation of these values, we quickly jump to the O2 versus time graph. We will then open the chart settings menu and enable the show global date time handlers. The red dotted line handlers now show the data range set in the settings menu. If we then adjust the range values, the handlers will move accordingly, and data outside the handlers are shaded in grey, indicating that they are not included in the analysis. We can also click and drag on these handlers to adjust them. Be aware that individual data ranges for your chambers can be set to a more narrow range than your global range, and then they will overrule the global data range. A quick note about the chart settings menu. The chart settings menu allows you to modify the visuals you see on your data graphs. For a detailed description of what each of these settings do, please refer to the AutoRisp3 chart settings guide that you will find in our user manuals or in our FAQ on our website. Heading back to the project tab, we now focus on the calculated data columns. If you want to go in depth with your SMR, MMR, aerobic scope and other calculations, open the settings menu again. In here you can change the calculation methods and adjust their parameters, and the changes are immediately visible in the project tab. 
in the settings menu, you can even normalize your MO2 measurements to a specific weight if you enable allometric scaling and to a specific temperature under the temp norm tab. The settings in the histogram tab affects the MO2 histogram data tab. You can set a minimum R squared value up here. This is the same value that you can adjust by clicking and dragging on the R squared handler in the R squared versus time graph. If the handler is not visible, you must enable it in the chart settings menu first. Lastly, we have a detailed description of these algorithms and their settings in the AutoRISP 3 algorithms summary that you'll likewise find in our user manuals on our website. Moving on to the data graphs, you will, like during experiments, find them divided into tabs up here. The options here are very similar to the experiment data graph tabs in that each graph can be interacted with and customized. Exporting an image of the graph or the data graph to Excel can be done in the legend panel menu. And as in an experiment data graph, additional informative visuals can appear when a single data channel is selected in the legend panel. Again, many of these visuals can be shown or hidden using the chart settings menu. It's also in the legend panel that you can expand each channel to see data values for additional data parameters. The little settings icon is the same as in the project tab, which lets you set the data range for each channel. A useful feature is the show by sample or treatment toggle button located next to the settings menu. When sample is selected, each channel is shown individually in each data graph and calculations like MO2, SMR, MMR, etc. apply to the individual data files. But when treatment is selected, the data files are grouped into their respective treatments indicated in the project tab and the calculations are now based on all the data files per treatment. On some data graphs, the average values in the legend panel are based on all files in the project tab independent of having sample or treatment selected. Again, exporting data from the graphs can be done using the menu in the legend panel. The screenshot icon will save a screenshot of the graph and the Excel icon will export the graph data into an Excel file. Any customization you have applied will be exported as well. And that's it on how to analyze your experiment in AutoRISP 3. If you have any questions about the analysis functionality or about other aspects of the software, you're welcome to contact us on our website.